Welcome to another episode of The Financial Show with No Name. I'm Mark DeLeon, your independent financial advisor. Today, we've got a special guest for you. We're going to be talking to an independent business owner located here in the Durham region. I'd like to introduce you to Antoinette Burrell. She's a local business owner. She owns a company called Kismet Digital Services, right? Just Kismet Digital. Just Kismet Digital. She's the CEO, founder, chief digital guru. Welcome, Antoinette. Thank you for inviting me. Well, we're glad to have you. So, Antoinette, can you tell us a little bit about Kismet? Maybe give us a little brief history about on Kismet. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, I've been a resident of Durham for wow, many, many years, almost 20 years now. And what I see in the community is a real need for people, small business owners, to promote their business primarily online. So what I do at Kismet Digital is I help small to mid-sized businesses get more repeat business and more referrals and more sales leads through using social media and also through email campaigns. Okay, so as a small business owner, what have you found to be uh, your biggest challenge from a financial point of view? This is a financial show, the financial show with no name. But yes, yeah, so what has been your biggest challenge from a financial point of view as a, as a small business owner? Yeah, um, well, there have been a lot of challenges because as you know, uh, I'm a creative person, so working with numbers isn't exactly my strength. The biggest challenge for me from a financial point of view is just really keeping the books balanced. And it sounds simple, but it's it really does get a little bit um, off track. So it's important that I stay on top of managing my income versus my expenses so those expenses don't start to creep in and just get everything all in the negative. Okay, so as a financial advisor, one of the things we do is we connect people. Uh, we connect people with people such as yourself, lawyers, accountants, etc. Um, do you find that to be a key part of your business as well, connecting people? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's just as if, let's say you're a family doctor, um, but sometimes you need to refer people out to a specialist. So it's the same in marketing or any type of uh, digital media. Um, there are some areas where I'm strong and there are other areas where I need to connect my clients to a third party because they have a greater uh, level of expertise. And what kind of results can someone expect to, you know, they're, 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 online media is really kind of stinky. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of results can someone expect by using uh, someone such as yourself or <laughs> your company such as yours? Well, it's all about strategy and a lot of people really get involved with the content piece of social media and they do backflips doing videos and all kinds of special tools and graphics and whatever which is great you have to have good content but what they should expect from me is an increase in engagement so we're very strategic about what kind of content we put together and we also blend in not only the online presence but the offline presence so I teach my clients how to leverage networking events and make those right connections so the people they meet out in the field will also follow them over to the online presence. And that's the most uh, beneficial way to get qualified leads online, is you actually have to integrate your online presence with your offline presence. Um, so it's a combination of strategy and also um, connecting your real life work with your branding online. All right, so final question for you. What is the biggest financial lesson you've learned from being a small business owner? Oh wow, that's easy one. Biggest financial lesson I've learned is that you really can't do everything yourself. Uh, as a business person, you have your area of specialty. That's why you're an expert in that area. But you can't be an expert everywhere. So it's really important for people to recognize that they do need a keen eye for finances or a keen eye for you know whatever it is. Biggest lesson, hire a professional because they will definitely save you time and through their knowledge, they will actually save you money. So it's worth the investment. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you very much for joining us for another, with, for another episode of The Financial Show with No Name. We had a great time talking with Antoinette. If you need to connect with Antoinette to help get help with your social media, you contact her where? I can be found online at www.kismetdigital.ca. I'm also on Facebook at Kismet Digital. And you can also find me on Instagram at Kismet underscore digital. I'd love to hear from you. 
Well, that's it. Did you know that this Thursday is National Put Something on a Stick Day? Seriously. See ya.